Doug Schmazel back in the hangar. Look at us. I've got my little buddy Mark here with me. He's all, look at that. My boss just texted me. Unfreaking believable. Anyhow, so this is Mark. Mark's been the guy who's been helping me with the project since the beginning. We are practicing social distancing. We are six feet away. We are wearing masks. We have gloves. Well, Mark has gloves. And I have hand sanitizer. Anyhow, um, just wanted to say, this is Mark. Mark, say hi. 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 We're working on alternator today, and we're working on some fuel line holes through the fuselage, and then uh, we're going to be ready to start this damn airplane up. All right, guys, we'll catch up with you later. All right, guys, back in the hangar working on the Xena 750, and we're working on the generator. So basically the cool part about experimental aircraft is this. You have the ability to do whatever you want within reason, obviously. So this is a small generator that's much lighter weight than what the original generator is. So this is... Ugh, this is the original generator here. It weighs like 9 billion pounds so I've eliminated that and I've gone to this cool guy generator permanent magnet generator very small very lightweight so now the difference is is now I got to work on fabricating bracketry for it so cool part is is like we talked before 3d printing is great so this is prototype number one all right, guys, so I'm in the hangar, and I'm looking at the prototype bracket, and what you'll see is it actually looks pretty good. Um, everything lines up pretty good, but what I have now is I threw the cowling on, and right here I'm just a little bit too low, um, and I'm not quite touching the cowling, but I'm thinking that any movement I get, I'm going to get some vibration, and we may touch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a hold of my guy. He is going to redraw this. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to take and clock this up this way just a little bit. And when I say my guy, I mean my brother. He's a, uh, he uses AutoCAD uh, Inventor 3D program. And then uh, one of the guys I work with, Carl is my 3d printer guru and so he's gonna do this for me he did the first one and uh, we'll see how it turns out the second one Alright, so right now what I'm doing is I'm actually trying out my uh, 3D printed bracket. And again, it's just a prototype is all it is. And this is, the 3D printing is awesome because what that does is it gives me the ability to try it without spending a bunch of money on fabrication and then go, oh shoot, doesn't quite fit. So this is what I've got so far. If you look here, I've got my bracket in. And everything looks really good, but what I'm running into is right here, I am actually touching my cowling. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take that bracket and I'm, gonna, I'm going to redesign it and reprint it with the angle about right here while maintaining the same distance between the flywheel and the alternator there, or I should say the generator. So 3D printing is freaking cool. You guys got to try it. Hey, look at this. I have a hat on. I have my hood up. I have my jacket on. It's May in Michigan, and it's like 38 degrees. Gotta love it. Anyhow, so I'll show you guys the next round of this bracket, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, well, I'm back at the office now, and we are taking a look at this new 3D print that we put together. So here is our 3D printer. So you'll see that 
here's my bracket here and uh, so now this is prototype number two or version number two I guess I'll call it and we are going to give that a shot and if this one works then what we'll do is take it and get it uh, get it uh, machined so there's our guy all right guys well we tried that bracket out and it's better but it's not quite where i want it so we're actually going to take it and we're going to clock it up just a little bit further to get a little further away from the cowling and then it should be in pretty good shape and i'll be ready to send it off to fab <laughs> All right, so there is my alternator, or generator I should say, on there. It looks pretty good. I got some clearance there. I've got plenty of slot left here, so I'm pretty happy. So the next step now is to put the cowling on and see how the cowling looks. Make sure that I clear here is what my concern is. So we'll see what it looks like. All right, so anybody's ever tried to fit a cowling on by themselves? I've got clearance. I've got, you know, inch, inch and a half of clearance. It's not bad, but I still think what I'm going to do is take it and move it up just a touch more. It'll still give me clearance to get my baffling in here. So, but all in all, love it. This is going to work nice. All right, guys. Well, on to the next thing. The next time you see that, there will actually be a steel bracket in there. All right, guys. Time to close just like we always do with a joke. You want to talk about a joke? Look at this hair. I mean, come on. This is getting bad. Listen, we need to open up our economy. We need barbers. Look at this. It's, it's so long. It's like when I graduated high school, 1991. The only thing I'm going to do different now is the next time you see I'm going to be feathered back. It's going to be freaking awesome. I'm going to have 80s hair band. Anyhow, that's my service announcement. Save the barbers. Fix my hair. Anyhow, let's close with our joke. Enough of that ranting. So, Last year, I, I've got a sailboat, and last year I was out on my sailboat, and I got a really bad sunburn on my legs, really, really bad, to the point where I said, i got to go see a doctor. So I went to the doctor, and I said, I'm in a lot of pain. Is there anything you do about this sunburn? He says, yeah, as a matter of fact, he says, I can. And he prescribed me, he said, I'm going to prescribe you Viagra. And I said, Viagra? Why are you going to prescribe me Viagra? I said, what's that going to do for my sunburn? He says, it's not going to do anything for your sunburn, but when you sleep, it's going to keep the sheets off your legs. All right, guys. Like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. When I started out, got a dirty road. Started out